G'day guys and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're going to take a look at a video called Dating X Reasonable or Not. It's by a channel called Talia Dates NYC. I'll put the original clip uh, in the description. Um, go check it out, give it a like and comment guys. So this isn't a hate video, I'm just critiquing some of these dating icks from a male perspective and if I feel like it I'm going to jump in and give you some of my male dating x or I even hate that word, I'll call it turn-offs um, that women do and I think will be relatable for many men who are watching this video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I feel like I haven't seen a video in forever, although it has only been a week, but I'm back. Um, and today I actually want to discuss my personal dating x. So essentially, I'm going to say right now, guys, I'm not being nasty, but that uh, accent completely would turn me off. Just the uh, inclinations, it seems to be like she's uh, thinks that she is of a very high quality, higher society, um, super high value woman, just by the way that she talks. I've come across many women like this um, who use that sort of inclination in their voice, that... Um, that demeanor and they've actually got nothing going for them apart from a pretty face which unfortunately this girl does not really have um but hey maybe there's someone for someone and maybe some of you guys at home would be all about it but not for me this one the things that make me run away the things that when i go out with a guy and i no, it's a pbj paper bag job see these things i'm instantly instantly turned off I want you guys to let me know at the end of the video if my dating icks are reasonable or not and also what your personal dating icks are because honestly we all have them right so without further ado let's get into the video so my first dating ick is actually something that is more on the superficial level I guess but if I'm using a dating app and I see a guy who has his Instagram handle in the bio, I'm instantly turned off. Like that's an automatic no to me because the thought behind this is that if I see this, <laughs> I think that the guy just wants followers. Like, are you actually looking for a girlfriend and something meaningful or are you just looking to I don't know, bump up your Instagram presence. I don't think he's trying to bump up his Instagram process. He's trying to pump and dump. And generally, guys who do this, I've done it in the past, guys. Um, I used to have uh, thirst traps for chicks uh, back when I was a lot more shredded than what I am now. I used to have all the gym photos and beach photos and all that on an Instagram account. And I would link that uh, to my dating profile so then they can go in there and have a look um, and see more about me a curated profile that i had made to show me off that isn't really reality yes i do look i might have looked that way but i might have been given off a perception of a different life and why do i use that just purely to get women on based on looks get them on the hook that's why a guy would generally do that they're trying to shove off a lifestyle they're trying to market themselves um she said does the guy want something long term as you want a girlfriend men don't think like that so it's very interesting about how women think. They're straight off the bat, they're looking for something meaningful and long-term. And you can translate that. This is straight away uh, an uh, ick for me is women to just uh, think off the bat that men are on there looking for something um, you know, committed straight off the bat. We don't operate that way. Um, we like to play it slow um, a lot of the time, see what we're getting ourselves into. I'm talking generalizations here. A lot of guys do jump into shit. Um, but the way that I like to operate and other guys that I know is you take it slow. You want to enjoy, you want to have fun in the dating process and things can just organically go. But generally what women will do even on dates, so this is my ick, I'm going to give her a counter ick here, uh, is they will push it. Uh, what is your intention? What do you want out of this? Do you want something serious? It's like, how, how do I even know that? I don't even know you. Like, yeah, the, the mind is always open to potentially something serious with the right chick. But trying to find the right chick on a dating app, it's going to take a lot of dates. They're out there, but it's going to take a lot of dates. As I said, I reckon it's one in a one in a hundred might be even worth considering as someone uh, steady. That's my advice. That's my experience. So asking me straight off the bat makes me feel like you're just trying to lock down a sucker. So you ladies out there who do that, stop doing that. You're going to turn off good guys, um, guys who might consider you because you're asking that. It's like you saying, it's like me saying, are you going to bend over and spread your cheeks for me on the first date? Is that your intent? Or are you going to get on your knees? Are you intending to get on your knees tonight? It's the exact same thing. 
and that's like honestly who cares i am somebody who does not give my instagram handle out before meeting someone and the reason for that is that i want the guy to get to know me for me not for what my instagram may or may not portray and i think that's fair game i've had men on the apps who've actually asked me before hey do you have instagram what is it so I want to check out what you look like. Are you a fatty? Are you an iceberg? Um, you know, giving a, doing the best photos at different angles, showing your best sides, and really you got a body like an oompa loompa, or or do you have highly curated uh, photos um, with filters and stuff all over them? We want to see. We want to see what you actually look like. What does your actually body look like? We're trying to suss out. Do you have any full length pictures? Do you have more consistent pictures of your face? So we can see more and make a decision. Are we going to get catfished by you? Because it's something very common that women do. They over polish their profile. So that's why men will ask you for more and more photos. That's why we're doing it. We're trying to suss out and do an assessment as if what we're seeing in this marketing, this advertisement on the dating app is what we're going to get. That's what's going to waddle up out of her car. You get, it's a 300 kilo chick going to waddle up. It's happened before. It's happened to us, best of us. Is a troll going to rock up? And I literally explained to them exactly what I explained to you. Get to know me in person, then you can add me on Instagram. But if I see a man with an Instagram handle in his bio, we ain't going out. Okay, cool. The Do my favor. second ick that I have, which is a reasonable one in my opinion, is a man who lacks ambition. And Whoa. to me, ambition is not like, oh, he has to be super successful or have a lot of money. That is literally not it. Ambition to me is so. Why is she talking like this with this inclination, like a really, like a camp version of a female? Like, oh, oh, well, who talks like that? Is that what you talk like when you're at home, talking to your little dog or something? I don't know. Well, what is this bullshit? Trying to sound posh. Who is driven, who has career goals, who has life goals, who doesn't, who, who's not just content with living a little life for, back, for, for lack of a better word. Um, I just want some. <laughs> like, well, look at the faces she's making. So she's doing she's doing you an absolute favor here, guys, by eliminating you if you're not ambitious because she's going to be driving and pushing you and hounding and haranguing you all the way to be better and better and better, and you're never going to meet her standards, regardless of what she has even achieved in her life. You hear women say, I want someone ambitious, I want someone who's achieving, I want someone who's doing this and that. Are they doing the same? I think it's fine. If they are accomplished and they actually are truly accomplished, then sure, people like goes for like, that's fair. Don't be working at McDonald's saying you want an ambitious guy. Someone who's driven. And New York has a lot of those men, so I'm in luck. This one's a really big one for me. And it's literally that I am so turned off by a man who doesn't know how to plan a proper date. Now, by proper date, like, it's really not that hard. So... All I need you to plan them yourselves then. Do as a man is to ask me out properly, which since I've been back in Montreal has been a little tough to be quite honest with you. Um, I've literally had men here that I've talked to on dating apps be like, hey, do you want to hang out sometime? It's like, no, like we're not 15 years old here. I'm 30, you don't ask me to hang out, ask me on a proper date like a proper man, right? Kind of ridiculous. Delusional. And that's the thing too, these chicks, um, she said she's 30, look, she's she's probably the best of her youth is gone. She's on the back nine when it comes to youth. Still got a little bit of a, a little bit of a glow, but you can see the bitterness, you can see the the resentment, the entitlement raising. And that's that's the thing. Um, women like this, the 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 expert, year after year 30, 31, 32, they get to 35, they become undateable, which is already giving off these signs here. You're not being asked out and you're being asked to hang out because the guy's not valuing you enough to actually want to take you out. He wants to suss you out and see what you like, see if you can get an easy layup, you know, Brycey, boom, layup, you know, uh, Rodney throws it up, Brycey just fucking nice man, bang, smashes the backboard, you know. He wants something easy. Um, if he can't get that, then he's going to throw the catch-up line out. And uh, yeah, he's probably thinking he's not going to take it. But that's the thing, their standards go higher and higher. She's got a, a blog um, with, she's reasonably sized. She's almost 6,000 subscribers about her talking about her dating um, expertise. And I'm going to, look, I, I must state raw facts here, all right? Raw facts, sub-average, sub-average 
Um, so to have this level of entitlement and standards, I wouldn't even be expecting this of a nine out of 10, even though it would happen. So you get for these five out of 10 chicks that carry on like this. But yeah, you can see where this is gonna go. Like she's already 30, I'm 30, don't ask me to hang out. Be a gentleman, it's not hard, take me out. Uh, take me out on dates. It's like, yeah, not gonna happen. Or I've had men who've been like super wishy-washy with asking me out which is also a, like a big turn off. But all I need you to do is be like, hey, do you wanna grab a drink so we can get to know each other better? That simple. And then if you don't know what my preferences are in terms of bars or alcohol, you can easily ask like, hey, do you prefer wine or cocktails? I answer. And then you're like, hey, meet me at this bar at this time. Does that work for you? I think this here too, I don't think she's being rude. She's trying to be purposely rude. Well, maybe she might be later on. I don't know. I just think it's pure delusion. It's pure delusion that pushes this um, sort of entitlement. You're on the back nine of the, the good years, which is sort of 20 to 40 at the latest in terms of dating and getting attention um, from quality suitors. 30, you're in the middle, right? Um, and there is just an imaginary number, uh, not imaginary, there's a line there that as soon as you've got a three in front, you're going down a couple of points. So you can't really be demanding like this. You've got to be taking what you can get and showing value yourself to a guy who might actually want to date you, not just demanding shit and making fun of guys for not doing it. It is literally that simple. Instead, I have people who don't know how to ask me out properly and who go in circles like, what do you want to do? And then I'm like, I don't know, you can pick. No, but what do you want to do? Do you want this place? Do you want that place? I don't care. Just pick some place. It's not that hard. It, these things drive me absolutely nuts. And I'm like, okay, hey, whatever, forget it kind of thing, you know? Jeez. It's very annoying. So my next one is men who ask to split the bill on the first date. Oh. Now, thankfully that has never happened to me and I hope it never ever does. But I've said this on multiple occasions that like, if you're asking me out, I kind of, I think it's proper for a man to pick up the bill. Now it doesn't need to be an expensive first date. It could be a single drink, but I think it's nice when a guy's like, no, don't worry, I'll take care of it. That's a man who takes charge, who wants to take care of you. And that's not, the point is like, I can buy my own drink. But it's just, I feel like on the first date, it's proper for you to take care of the bill. Now I will- No, see, see, even I probably would have done this 20 years ago. I would have paid no problem, wouldn't have asked. But we're living in an age now, and this chick has a dating blog, right? So she's going out and having multiple, multiple dates and blogging about it. What guy is gonna wanna pay for someone that's dating like five guys, 10 guys, has a blog talking about it all over the internet, knowing that he's just getting someone who's even if she's not sleeping with them all or whatever, like just available to heaps of different guys. What guys are paying for when they want to pay is thinking that that girl is going out exclusively with him. So I wouldn't be paying in this day and age. I like as well how they um, always try and shame. And a real man does that because it shows you he wants to look after you. Well, no, hang on, if you can buy your own drinks, generally in this day and age, the way it's going, I would say, especially when I was, like I haven't done it for a while now, guys, but going on these kinds of dates, um, they're really a screening. They're not a date, it's a meeting, right? You don't know this person yet. I think if you meet it for a second time and you've asked her out, maybe, yeah, maybe pay, right? But not the first time. You haven't even made your mind up on it. You don't know her, they don't know you. You get these people who don't know you from a bar so they want you to buy them shit. It makes no sense to me. It's like, would you walk up to some random guy you've never known in the street and, and buy him a pot of beer or a pint of beer or a schooner, whatever you call it, wherever you're from, uh, you know, a bottle of beer? You wouldn't. So I don't know why they expect guys to do it when we know that they're doing it repetitively with other men. And she's making videos about it, like Sex in the City. I'll say that I've had dates, longer first dates, you know, that have gone on for hours. And let's just say we go for dinner and you take care of it. And then you're like, hey, do you want to go grab drinks? I am more than happy to buy the drinks after. Or hey, do you want to go grab coffee or dessert? I am more than happy. They say this shit, but they really don't mean it. I've had girls say that, and then you go, okay, okay, yeah, you grab the coffee or whatever, and then they're like they're scrounging around in the purse, you pretty nearly can't find the card, and then you just pay for it because it's embarrassing. They, they don't mean this shit. They, they're trying to say that, but they don't mean it. You can never take a woman for their word when it comes to some of these concessions that they're trying to make. If you pay for this, then I'll pay for that. 
Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. I've gone on rants about it in heaps of my other videos. They will do what they can and shame men to get free shit all the time. Like women, as I said, she has a blog talking about it or all the different guys she goes out with. Nothing wrong with that. Do what you want, but don't have high expectations that they're all going to pay for you um, to go out and be happy about it. Yeah, it's just put, give him a camera and, you know, she's walking around the city like, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I'm living in a clown world. Happy to take care of that. But the main, main date, I feel like the man should sort of pick up the bill. I know it's a very controversial topic, but that's just how I feel. And I also sort of feel like if a man doesn't or he asks to split the bill, probably won't see you again. And there's kind of nothing that anyone can tell me that will change my opinion on that. I don't know, maybe it's a generational thing. I know younger people sort of feel like maybe offended if a man asks to pick up the bill. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, you need to on a first date as a man. I'm sorry. Next one. Is I'm sorry. Oh, that's, you know, that makes it really drives the point home that she's not gonna accept any less. And that's what puts men off, an entitled attitude. You don't even need to say that. If you're nice and pleasant to be around, I think a guy would pay. If you're giving off snobby or, 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 or undertones that you're dating other guys, we're not going to pay for it. I, would, I wouldn't mind paying for a coffee or a drink or a cheap meal or something like that. If it's just someone nice you're getting on with and you feel like they're uh, not expecting it. I, I don't think I would have a problem with that. You get these types who carry on about it before you've ever met up. Yeah, you're paying. I ain't paying for you. Bloody clown world we live in. Clown world. All right, guys, about halfway through. So if you're enjoying the content to date in this video, please subscribe to the channel. And the best way you can help me, guys, is watching my videos through to the end. And if you do want to support the channel further, please check out my Patreon link in the video description. This is very self-explanatory. And I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me on this one. But another thing that gives me the ick is men who are rude to waitstaff or anyone in the service industry now i have a lot of friends in the service industry and they are regular people that should be treated the same way you treat Agreed. anyone else Agree. uh so there's literally no need to be rude if the food is taking long there's a way to ask when your food is coming that doesn't need to be rude like it's just not a good look especially on a first date and if someone is rude right off the bat i'm never gonna see you again just saying, because it speaks volumes about the type of person that you are. And it's just not for me. The next ick is men who are too sexual too quickly. Um, <laughs> that literally is an automatic block for me. That's you guys at home. Hey, we've all been guilty of doing it. We've got to be a bit, a little bit more smooth about it. But yeah, I think, I think guys can come on real strong when they just don't give a shit about the outcome. Because sometimes I say yes or an automatic ghost because I'm not an object. And for you to say sexual things before you even know me or before you even met me or at the beginning of meeting me, it's gross. Well, well, if you're not an object, I'm not an object. I'm not a walking ATM machine. So I wouldn't have to pay for your first date. And you talking about that uh, before we go on our first date really highly offends me because I'm not an object. <laughs> and this actually also tends to include men who in conversation throw in the winky face emoji oh wow i, can't even I know wink. it sounds funny but to me the second you do that even if it's not in a sexual way it's literally a turn off like wow i don't know people watching this video are there any emojis that someone could put in a conversation that are a complete turn off to you hey, because that baby. is mine and I want to hear what you guys have to say. Because I feel like there may be other... The, egg, the eggplant, tongue, slash um, uh, water splash combination. I think you should like that one. What do you think, guys? There's two. Now, my next ick is men who only talk about themselves. And this seems to be, like, something that happens frequently. I've heard... Coming from the girl who literally is just talking about herself, her wants, her needs on a blog to the internet stories of so many other women talking about this that they go on dates with men and they literally just talk about themselves they don't ask a single thing about you 
and this has happened to me a lot on the apps where it's like i'm not here to entertain you presumably you're on a dating app because you want to find a partner no and no we don't use them for that like it's what you're mistaken with we're here to find a mouth to put penis in to start off with it's um or a vagina it's we're not thinking, yeah, I'm looking for a wife. Let's just crack open Bumble. Maybe a small percentage of guys will. You're bored. We're horny. We're looking for chicks. We're trying to cast a net. Men don't make decisions like that beforehand. Maybe if we're a bit older or whatever. I don't know. Even if I was on there now, that's probably what I'd be doing. I'd be looking for chicks for the um, physical stuff first. And then you work it out from there. Do I actually like her when I don't have a boner? It's, I never understand it though. We don't think like you. And if you're not asking a single thing about me, then what are you doing here? Like, you ask questions to see if someone's on the same page as you or if they're compatible. And if you don't know a single thing about me and you don't care to do so, what's the point? So honestly, at that point, if I'm in this type of conversation where I'm just constantly asking someone about themselves and they're not asking a single thing about me, I will literally abandon ship. Good on because you. that's just exhausting and I'm not a therapist and I don't know it's just it's just not for me so men who are watching this who maybe I'll give you the benefit of the doubt maybe you don't realize that you're not having a back and forth conversation and so guys you're gonna abandon ship the moment she thinks that you're not keeping up the tempo but guys who've been on dates or you've been on dating apps trying to talk to you women. They don't, a lot of them, some of them are good. A lot of them are not good at maintaining the momentum in a conversation. It just dies. That's why maybe this guy's just trying to talk to keep it going. So she's got her face pursed and screwed up. It's not giving him anything. And so what, you just get dumped for that? <laughs> uh, well, she used, to go, she used to go past Tesco on the way through or whatever you got over there, Trader Joe's or Aldi or whatever, and buy some, some cat food maybe. You know, you want to, uh, whatever, just this is, serves as a reminder that you should be asking women about themselves. Just saying. <laughs> because a woman, when you do ask her about her, herself and you actually put the effort to get to know her, she genuinely, genuinely appreciates it. So let this be a reminder, men. Yeah. Oh, this that. next one actually hasn't happened to me in a long time, but it used to. And this one is just like also an automatic no for me, but it's men who you go on like a first date with them and they automatically talk about their exes. Like, that's a good point. Right off the bat, that tells me, okay, you're not over your ex or like there's literally no valid reason why at the beginning of getting to know someone, yep. you should be talking about your ex. Like there's literally... I agree with that. But a lot of the time what women do is they will probe and ask you questions. They'll try and draw that conversation out of you. Well, when was your last relationship? Uh, how long was it for? Why did you break up? Like, you will be interrogated a lot of the time because they're trying to suss out. You know, they're trying to work out and piece you together through that conversation. So, yeah, if you're just like, oh, yeah, how are you going? Yeah, by the way, my ex dumped me last night or whatever. Yeah, well, you know, why are you doing that? But a lot of the time it's that they... They pull that out of you. So that's my ick too. They want to ick, and I hate that word. That's my turn off is women that want to psychologically assess you uh, on a date by asking you very pointed questions, very deep questions without knowing who you are uh, and what your experience has been in life and trying to unravel you and thinking that they can do it within 10 minutes. I find it obnoxious, rude, massive turn off. So I think I could see her doing that. I could see her being a kind of girl who's got to be like, so tell me about your ex. Uh, when was your last relationship? How long have you been single? Come on. Who does not? They always ask you that. How long have you been single? Oh, how long was that for? Why did it end? Uh, who, how, you know, they ask you all these questions about it. It's just, that's, that's, I hate that. So yeah, if she wants to start carrying on about it, I will too. Really easier. Oh, like I tried to brainstorm why someone would do that. There's literally no good reason. So if someone talks about their ex at the beginning stages of getting to know you, you run. <laughs> like, that's not, that's a complete red flag to me. And I find it very distasteful because it's like, if you're still talking about your ex, what are you doing here? Yep, right? Point. The whole point of you going on a date with me is to get to know me and to move on from your past, right? 
so why are you bringing up the past like it's just genuinely not good and let me also follow that up but with another ick is men who still talk to their exes yep. and i think a lot of people will agree with me on this one because i personally don't talk to anyone for my past spot on no, i agree with that i can't bag all the points so she's probably gotten what a couple that I agree with there, absolutely. So yeah, not launching in and talking about exes unprompted, and even if so, skirt over the top, very light detail. Always to say something like, "Yeah, it just didn't work out." I wouldn't. I'll would make up a, a duration, how long I've been single, or wouldn't even talk about an ex. You might do that at the start, and you're a bit raw. I mean, you might be recently single, and then someone asks you, and blah, you start doing it. Yeah, biggest turn off ever for both men and women. And yeah, I think um. People who are still talking with their exes, great point. No one wants that shit. No one wants that person hanging around when they're trying to get to know you. Um, so fully on board with that one. Just because I don't think it's necessary. I think you as a person, you evolve and you move on. And I think you should leave the past in the past. There's no good reason why you should still be talking to your ex. Like zero. They serve no purpose. Like it's nice to be like, on good terms with them as I am with all of my exes but I'm definitely not talking to them because there's literally no point I've moved on with my life they've moved on with their life that's it that's the way it should be and I know this one a lot of people might argue with me in the comment section bring it on but I genuinely believe past should be left in the past no, I get oh, this next ick is an ick for anyone who is a healthy human being but inconsistent communication and behavior yeah now if a man or a woman is not going to be consistent with you in the dating process the door is that way and the door is that way you don't need to say it like that she had a really good point before she wrecked it but when i'm talking about consistency i think absolutely i agree but who are the perpetrators for the most part of inconsistency go on a dating app go on and start com com having conversations with women they're the ones that most of the time end them drop them let them fizzle out so i think it's a bit it's a bit of ish you know a bit of a long shot saying that guys do this yeah maybe uh, the guys with all the options are doing it but most guys don't have many of them would like to talk and uh, yeah, these women keep bouncing around talking to different dudes and then, you know, the I've had it. Heaps of times happen to me. You're having a good conversation, you're talking, getting to know each other, um, and they just disappear. <laughs> so, you know. And shut it right behind them because they are wasting your time. And if someone's genuinely interested in you, they are going to be consistent. Now, consistent doesn't mean they need to message you every single day or they need to do this or no. It just means that their behavior is not hot and cold and their effort is consistent that simple like i said if they don't want to be consistent the door is that out. way <laughs> uh if not you're just wasting your time now this next one is a little bit some people might not agree with this one but my next ick is men who are unhealthy both mentally and physically so obviously mentally you want someone who is healthy right who takes care of their mental health but also someone who is physically healthy. By that, I don't mean, oh, I need someone with a six pack who works out five days a week. Like, no, I actually don't want that to be very honest with you. But I want someone who doesn't pollute their body with fast food all the time. I think that is a really big turn off. And I, I try and take care of my body. I try and eat healthy. Like 95% of the time I do, I eat very clean. So to have someone who basically doesn't respect their body and eats garbage all day that's a really big turn off especially if you're a grown man you should know how to take care of yourself properly oh god anyway i'm not going to watch any more of this bullshit guys if you guys want to go and uh, watch the remainder of this video um i can put the link in the description thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys but basically what has she said here sorry my last final word here what has she said? Just basically be everything she wants you to be. Be fit, be healthy, pay for things, and give her heaps of attention. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing else to say here. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.